These are the top five reasons to buy the new Samsung Galaxy S9. You're staring at your current phone and saying to yourself, how can I justify getting the Samsung Galaxy S9? Well, don't worry, we've got you covered. One more thing, this list could change once we do our full review of the S9, let's get to it. At number five, it's the little things. The S9 features something called a headphone jack, unlike the Pixel 2 or the iPhone 7, 8, or 10. Samsung says the screens are 15% brighter, which is always nice. The bezels were little things before, and now they are even smaller by 1.2 millimeters. And then there's that new purple edition, snazzy. Coming in at number four, stereo speakers. The S9 is the first Galaxy S device with stereo speakers and feature the Dolby Atmos codec. Samsung will have these speakers tuned by AKG, which Samsung owns, by the way. The S9 is also 40% louder than the S8. It's nice to not need a Bluetooth speaker if you just wanna to listen to your phone while you putter around the house. That's right, I putter, because that's what I do. At number three, it's fast. Inside some models of the S9 will be the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. In our tests, with the 845 in a reference device, it performed at least 25% faster than the Snapdragon 835, which is found in the S8, the Pixel 2 XL, and the LG V30. Again, that was at least 25% faster. That should translate into making impatient people, like me, very happy. Number two, Samsung fixed the biggest flaw of the S8. In the S9, Samsung placed the fingerprint sensor in the middle of the device on the back. The S8 and the Note 8 both feature an off-center fingerprint sensor, which was less than ideal. The centralized S9 fingerprint sensor should mean it's a lot easier to unlock that phone of yours, and you're less likely to get your finger oils on that awesome camera. And at number one are the main cameras on the S9 and S9 Plus. Each main camera is a dual aperture device, meaning the aperture physically changes. In low light, the camera will use a larger aperture of f1.5, which lets in more light, 28% more light than the S8. So that should translate into better low light shots with less noise. When shooting in daylight or bright lighting, the camera will stop down to an aperture of f2.4 for better exposures. The S9 camera can also take slow motion video at a rate of 960 frames per second at 720p resolution, which is kind of insane. If you're searching for reasons not to buy the Galaxy S9, don't worry, we got that side too. Check out top5.cnat.com for the top five reasons not to buy the S9. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.